Hello everyone. It's been a while since we've had birds on our reviews, so it's time to fix that. Besides, in the previous video, this Australian dinosaur clearly won the poll of candidates. Meet, you're on the Animal Instinct channel, and today we're reviewing the cassowary. I won't ask you to like or subscribe to the channel, you know what to do. So with almost no further ado, let's begin. Australia is teeming with dangerous creatures that can easily send you to your ancestors. Venomous snakes, spiders, crocodiles, you name it. But then there are the birds, which delight the eye of the tourist with their bright feathers. But not so fast. This is the last bird I'd want to meet. Meet the handsome fellow that inhabits the tropical forests of Australia, the cassowary. Although, as in Australia, the bulk of the cassowaries have chosen the territory of New Guinea and its surrounding islands, which they have clearly divided among themselves and try not to appear in someone else's area. After all, these birds have a nasty temperament. But more on that later. Horned head. That's how the bird's name translates from Papuan. Just look at it. It's a real live dinosaur. A bony helmet on its head, a predatory gaze, a massive body, and huge legs as if hinting that you should stay away from this bird. And for good reason. Cassowaries can grow to almost six and a half feet tall and weigh up to 130 pounds. True, its height isn't very noticeable because the cassowary moves slightly bent over toward the ground. It looks like a big turkey or a maxed out ostrich. Meanwhile, the cassowary is listed in the Guinness Book of Records as the most dangerous bird on the planet. And every year, at least one Australian leaves this world precisely from an encounter with a cassowary. It doesn't have venom, but this is one of those cases where a bad temper and solid size more than make up for its absence. The cassowary's beak isn't very big and usually doesn't pose a threat. It's the legs, or I should say, paws. They are so powerful, as if they were two giant wooden pillars. With them, the bird can easily give a kick to anyone who seems even slightly dangerous and it doesn't matter if it's a dog or a human. In addition, they end in rather large claws, among which there are combat claws, reaching six inches in length. Poor manicurists. Such claws, like knives, cut into the body of the offender, and little good it does him. It definitely won't seem like it. And even if you try to run from it, you're unlikely to succeed, because its powerful legs propel its body up to 30 miles per hour. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that cassowaries while very similar to ostriches, belong to their own order, the cassowary order, which besides the cassowaries themselves, also includes emus. Yes, emus aren't ostriches either. They used to fly, but then they realized that walking on the ground was much more convenient. Therefore, wings, along with the keelbone, were reduced in cassowaries, and even their feathers started to resemble fur, so they have a peculiar appearance. In general, there are three types of cassowaries, and the southern cassowary is the coolest and the largest of them. It chose the southern coast of New Guinea with an average elevation above sea level. The northern cassowary got the lowland tropical forests, while the dwarf cassowary, being the smallest, settled in the mountain forests. Although if there are no larger neighbors around, it can descend to sea level. The bird's warlike appearance is further enhanced by its nasty temper. Cassowaries are very easy to anger and provoke. Then it will rush after the offender. The cassowary will kick him with its powerful legs. At the same time, it's hard to understand what displeased his majesty. Even zoo workers often fall out of favor with cassowaries. But there's a trick here. It's best to approach it holding some long object, like a shelf or a broom. After all, the cassowary won't attack anything taller than itself. Or, as a last resort, it's good to have a similar wooden shield to protect yourself from meeting the bird. In Australia, they even use special road signs indicating cassowaries. And in parks, you can find signs like this. Keep an eye on your dogs, or I'm not responsible. This behavior is observed even in young cassowaries. For example, this cassowary thought it met a fellow cassowary, and of course, it needed to show its strength. Look how it jumps and strikes the car with powerful blows. I think a real opponent would have been scared knowing the cassowary's character. People are very careful about the unexpected appearance of such birds. Of course, it's better to give it your picnic spot than to get a kick with a leg like that. And they always give it space for bathing too. Like any self-respecting fighter, all cassowary species have a bony helmet on their head. Scientists argue about its purpose. 
According to one version, it's a resonator for the voice. According to another, it protects the head during movement through the jungle. After all, cassowaries run like this. But invariably, such a growth indicates the animal's sexual maturity. After that, you might think that the cassowary is a dangerous and bloodthirsty forest dweller. But even here, the bird can surprise you. The fact is that it feeds mainly on fruits. No, of course, it can eat a snake, frog or snail, but it prefers fruit much more, which is abundant in the forest. Simply lower your head down and there it is. It's so fast at eating fruit, the cassowary would give anyone a run for their money. Look how easily the bird disposes of a huge mango. It simply takes it and swallows it whole. At the same time, it can eat several such large fruits in one meal. And after five hours, the undigested food waste is excreted naturally. And then a new tree appears in place of such a pile. Cassowaries, without knowing it, are engaged in a very useful business, spreading seeds throughout the forest. And they are an important part of the ecosystem. After all, the bird's diet includes over 100 species of tropical fruits. So if you buy mangoes in the store, know that they most likely appeared. Not very appetizing, is it? Sometimes such piles fall past the target. Strangely enough, such processing of seeds even increases their germination rate. For example, the germination rate of the greater bird of paradise seeds is usually only 4%. Whereas, after processing by cassowaries, this figure increases to 92%. And some plant species are spread exclusively thanks to these birds. Cassowaries can eat very toxic fruits that other animals would be poisoned by. Fruits pass through the digestive system very quickly and do not harm the birds. As I said, male cassowaries are very aggressive, but females are larger, heavier and taller. Their behavior is more aggressive and even their coloring, strangely enough, is brighter. And that means the click clack of heels can be heard somewhere. It even gets to the point that male cassowaries, while sorting out their relationships, can scatter in different directions if a female appears nearby. But if the female likes the male, she begins to lure him with her tender voice. Just try not to approach. Cassowaries don't have a specific period. The pair stays together for about two weeks. During this time, the male builds a nest where the female lays three to eight very beautiful green eggs. Each of them can weigh more than 500 grams. After that, the female goes off in an unknown direction, or rather, to another male. For two whole months, the father incubates the clutch and then spends about a year raising, feeding and teaching the children. During this time, he becomes especially aggressive and will kill anyone who gets in his way if the chicks are in the slightest danger. He attacks the opponent without hesitation, even if it's their mother. However, cassowaries try to settle in secluded corners of the forest, far from humans and other neighbors. The chicks are born completely different from their parents and have a light brown color with dark stripes. But already after a few hours, they are able to run and will constantly follow their father. They even bathe together. However, during meals, everyone is for themselves. Here, the father has the advantage and the young ones get only scraps. But the most interesting thing is that he is not the biological father of these children and his children will be born to another male. This is how it happens unusually in cassowaries. Interestingly, this tradition originated in flightless birds from dinosaurs. Archaeologists have discovered several fossilized clutches of eggs with dinosaurs incubating them, and in all cases, they were males. The cassowary has few natural enemies. Besides humans, only wild boars and dingoes can be mentioned, and even those don't attack adults, but can only raid the clutch. As for humans, they have hunted these beautiful birds for centuries. Currently, the population of southern and northern cassowaries is no more than 10,000 individuals each, and they are considered vulnerable. Protective measures are being taken, but obtaining accurate statistics on the birds is difficult due to their secretive lifestyle and the poor development of New Guinea. That's it. I hope you enjoyed it. This is an interesting bird. Then don't be lazy to rate the video, write in the comments who else you want to see on the review, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and don't forget to turn on notifications. I'll be back with you soon. See you later.